Today, I want to talk about Lin Yutang. When it comes to him, let's start with his works. Let me take you into his writing, feel the charm of his works. Let's start with the life of Su Tung Po. There is really no reason for my writing the life of Su Tung Po, except that I want to do it. For years, the writing of his biography has been at the back of my mind. In 1936, when I came to the United States with my family, I brought with me, along with a carefully selected collection of basic Chinese reference books in compact editions. Also, a few very real and Asian editions of works by and about this part, for which all considerations of space were thrown overboard. I have hoped then to be able to write a book about him, or translate some of his points or prose. And even if I could not do so, I wanted him to be with me while I was living abroad. It was a matter of suddenness of the spirit to have on one shapes the works of a man with great charm, originality and integrity of purpose, and am from terrible, a great original mind that could not conform. Now that I'm able to apply myself to this task. I'm happy, and this should be an all-sufficient reason. A vivid personality is always an enigma. There had to be one Su Tumpo, but there could not be two. Definitions of a personality generally satisfy only those who made them. It would be easy to pick out from the life and character of a man with such a versatile talent and colorful life and conglomerate of the qualities that have endeared him to his readers. One might say that Su Tung was an incorrigible optimist, a great humanitarian, a friend of the people, a prose master, an original painter, a great calligraphist, an experimenter in wine making, an engineer, a hater of Puritanism, a yogi, a Buddhist believer, a Confucian statesman, a secretary to the emperor, a confirmed wine bibber, a humane judge, a dissenter in politics, a plotter in the moonlight, a court, and a wag. And yet, that might miss the sum total of what makes us so poor. I can perhaps best sum it up by saying that the measure of Su Tung Po always elitic and affectionate and warm admiring smile in China. For more than other Chinese poets, Su Tung Po's personality had the richness and variety and humor of a many side genius, possessing a gigantic intellect and a guileless child's heart, a combination described by Jesus as the wisdom of the serpent and the journalist of the dove. Admittedly, this is a real combination shared only by a few bones upon this earth. Here was a man. 